Hello and namaste. So a couple of weeks ago, I bought something online and I didn't open it. And now if it's defective, I can't return it because it's well past the deadline. So you and I are going to go and open it and see if it still works and um, if it's fine. In order to unbox this, I've taken the help of my sister and my two dogs and a couple of pair of scissors. So maybe you can do the same. Cage is good if you just want to separate the dogs or keep them inside while they are sick but not if you want to take it around you know it can't be used as a carrier that you would put in your car or travel with it. I'm getting the feeling that it's not completely straight on one side like it's not locking the same way as it's locking on the other side. Um, but I think it's secure enough and it's not going to cause any problems. It's pretty easy to assemble it and uh, we're going to turn it around and then show you from the front and then we're going to try and see if our dog can fit inside and see how much room there is. So let's try that. I think there's enough room for this little guy here. You can see him walking around as well, trying to get out of the cage. <laughs> he was not too happy being inside. And I'm just going to show you the poop drawer, I call it, so that you can use whenever you need to clean their poop or pee, whatever. You can just drag it out and wash it and put it back. That's the door that you can open and let your dog in or out. This cage is made up of steel. It's roughly 36 inches in length, 27 inches in width and 26 inches in height. It also supports dogs that weigh between 13 to 30 kg. So any medium sized dog could probably fit in inside. I can't say for sure if it's sturdy and durable, but it could get the work done. Only time will tell. No, I can't do it. It's not very light. It's kind of heavy, which is good, I suppose. Thank you for watching that. I'll see you next time.